Hello, how is everybody doing? Uh, this is a review video of uh, Yamaha receiver, the top of the line currently, the RX-A3010. What I want to start with is, first of all, I want to show you right now, currently, the receiver is off. Um, however, I want to show you that receiver does have HDMI pass-through, even though it's off. So right now, currently, I have it hooked up to Apple TV. Uh, the newest generation and I'm gonna circle this around here and as you can see um, the you can see the HDMI pass through you can see the the image on um, on the projector screen okay uh, second thing I want to show you right away is um, an app this is a phone here um, it's a Samsung Galaxy S2 I'm gonna power this thing on and I'm gonna show you an app uh, let me just go to the main menu here. Okay, it's it's called a AV Controller. It's right here. Uh, it's an app available from Yamaha, uh, free of charge. Uh, you can download it for either um, the uh, uh, Android phone or iPhone. Here, I click on that app, um, and the first thing what it's going to do, it's going to go on the network and it's going to search for your receiver. If it finds it, then it's going to show you that the receiver is available. If it doesn't find it, then it's going to show you demo. It's going to show you two um, demo for a receiver and for a DVD player. In this case, you can see that it found it, the um, um, RX-A3010. Here I can push the power button, and as you can see, the receiver powers up. We have Apple TV right now. Um, as you can see on the side, uh, this app is, is very, I would say it's, it's even better than the remote control. Um, here you have uh, at the bottom here you have a selection for your input. Here you can select a whole bunch of inputs that you have. For example, you can go um, Napster, Net Radio, PC, USB, Dock if you have one, the Cyrus Radio. Uh, tuner, Blu-ray, game, Apple TV, you got really a whole bunch of uh, inputs and outputs. Um, another thing I want to show you, for example, right now I have Apple TV selected. Um, if I go to uh, USB, um, I have a USB cable plugged in, which is my, which is my uh, old uh, uh, iPod. Uh, and then I don't know if you can tell here. It says connected to. No, you can't. Connected to Yamaha. There you go. Okay, so here I would select USB, and as you can tell, it switches over. Okay, now on the phone, I can go to menu right here on top. There we go. And here I have uh, either music or videos. I can select on music and I have playlist artists you know whatever you you have on your iPad uh, iPod that's what it's gonna show let's say I go to playlist okay on my phone I have a list of playlists um, let's, let's say go to my favorites um, and by the way whatever you see on the phone you see right here on the main display of the Yamaha and also if you can see you see the same stuff on the, on your TV so whatever you do on your phone you will see on TV so let's say for example I can select a song on my phone I'm gonna do that now okay and this is how it looks like and a song is playing okay this is what you will see on your phone. The phone shows you the name of the song, the artist, the, the album, and also shows you the uh, art, artwork, volume.
Okay, so that's how the phone application works. It works real, real nice. And once again, I want to show you on, on the screen. I know the lights are on, so you probably can't see it quite clear on the projector, but um, you get whatever you get on the phone, that's what you see on the screen. Okay. Turn the volume down a little bit. Okay. Uh, another nice feature. I can go to menu here. See my playlist again. Uh, let's go back. I'm curious what's going to happen if I select the videos. Let's say movies. Okay, I, let's say the A team. Now, I don't actually think that's going to play uh, a movie. Uh, something is happening, but I. I don't think it's actually movie. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just I just wanted to check. I didn't think it was gonna play off of uh, an old generation I iPad. I mean iPod. But anyway, so this is how the uh, USB works. Okay. Now here, I can slide this across, and here I have my USB right. Then I can go to select select my other oh wait a minute I'm sorry about that. okay here at the bottom um, of the application here here I have my inputs I showed you that already you can select your inputs here you can select your DSPs um, and as you can see is quite a few of them um, and it's really easy you know. It, and it's got nice pictures in the, right next to it. Um, whatever you like, you know, adventure, sci-fi, drama, drama, uh, two-channel stereo. Um, it's it's just this whole bunch of them. You know, you can select to, to your liking, whatever you like. Okay, so that's your DSPs. And here's something nice. It's called Scenes. And here you can select. And, of course, you can... Um, adjust it to your liking also you can select the scene like let's say for example here i have a uh, on top i don't know if you can see but i have uh blu-ray movie watching movie viewing so if i click that button uh if i push that button what's going to happen look i click on that and i have um receiver going directly to a blu-ray input uh and it's going to select the dsp that i have chosen for this particular button uh, and it's going to start playing play my movie. Um, so this is nice. Here you have zones. You have main zone, zone 1, zone 2, and zone 3. And zone 4. So it's got 4 zones. Um, so that's kind of in a nutshell what the, uh, what the application. There's, there's more stuff that it can do. I just don't want to waste the time on this. The whole video on just on that. And it seems to me that if you select... Um, application for your iPad or iOS device it seems that, that it has a little bit more more options uh, to, to choose from okay so this is the application okay let's talk about the receiver uh, well as you know my uh, 5308 was uh, uh, DOA um, to make a long story short I had to I was basically forced to spend about two thousand hours at Best Buy and this was the, and I was forced to actually to only spend it on, in one store. So I couldn't even go to a, um, to a design center where I could select, you know, something more of a high end. Um, however, this this is sufficient. I'm I'm pretty happy with this receiver. As you know, the Denon was made in um, 2007, 2008. Um, I was actually considering the. Uh, the ZX11, the Yamaha, the, the, the big Yamaha that the Yamaha used to make. Um, when I was actually buying Denon 5308, uh, it was a toss-up between the Yamaha and the Denon. Um, and I remember back then, Crotchfield had a uh, Yamaha at half half the price, which was 2500 bucks, brand new in the box. But anyway, so I was considering that, but you know, as, as you know, technology moves, you know, forward pretty fast, so... 
Um, this receiver, um, as far as the sound characteristics, what I like about it is is, is very bright, um, and it seems to have. Um, I can pinpoint um, directly from which speaker the sound is coming from. Denon seemed to be more uh, like the sound was all bunched up in, into one, and it wasn't really like. Uh, you know, directly coming from each particular speaker. Um, it's not to say that this is a better receiver. You know, I still think that Denon, obviously, you know, twice as much money, more than that, um, I, I believe has, you know, better components and it does have uh, a better quality built to it. But, you know, it seems to think, I seem to think that all the companies that make these uh, receivers um, are going away with building high-end you know five six thousand dollar pieces you know um, to be honest with you I don't think that Denon is even going to make 5308 anymore as far as I know it's been discontinued um, so this is pretty much you know that uh, the Pioneer the 57 model um, the Denon right now currently uh, the the 4311 those are good receivers you know so i like the sound um one of the um persons that w was asking me how did you do uh, the 11.3 channel setup well first of all uh this receiver is a point 2 so bottom line um if you want to if you have three subwoofers like in, i have in my case Actually, I have four, but I have two of them in walls running out of one amplifier and two in the back. So I have three, um, and the re receiver only has uh, two outputs for subwoofers. So the But the nice thing is that the receiver will let you select um, how you want to set up your subwoofers. If you want to set them up left and right, do you want to set them up front and back, or you just want to mix them all up? So like for example, I have front and back, so I select the front and back. Um, as far as the um, uh, the 11 point channel setup, I'm gonna show you how, how that's done here. I'll take this camera off. Um, starting from the back, you know, uh, I've already painted my speakers, I don't know if you recall, I, they were not painted. Uh, but you know, we got two, two channels in the back um, then what I did was I put my speakers right here in the corners. Those are the, the rear present speakers, one here and one here, right? So we have four speakers in the back, as you remember, subwoofers right here. Um, then you have um, the surround speakers, okay? And then you go towards the front and you see um, the three front speakers and some doofus uh mr professional installer CGS certified was talking about how the placement of these speakers are is improper well you know what i like the sound of it and um it beats any setup that i have seen at design centers and it sounds twice as as, as, as good as any setup that i have seen so you know forget you and what you say and then i have the present surround speakers right here one here, one here. So basically that's an 11 point, um, point two or point three channel setup. This is how you would do it. Um, three speakers in the front, two speakers on up on top. And this receiver will also let you uh, move up the, like adjust the sound. So let's say you have a speaker that's right there and it's, too low to your liking. Well, because you have front present speakers, the receiver actually can adjust and kind of move that center sound up towards the middle of the screen. So that way you it appears as if um, the sound is coming directly from the middle of the screen, even though there's nothing behind it because it's just a wall. Okay, so that's how this will work. Now I'm gonna show you, um, put the camera back here. I want to show you a uh, setup and also show you remote control. This receiver comes with two two remote controls. One is a small one, 
like this. Very nice, very handy. The only thing I don't like it is, is there's some buttons that are missing and you can do certain things with it. But you know what, it's, it's good to have it handy if you don't want to uh, play with the big one. But again, you can always play with your phone or iPad or tablet, Android tablet. Okay, there's also another big boy, big remote control. Real nice. Uh, what's nice about this, it's backlit. The button is on the side. As you can see, lights up. All buttons light up. Every button that you see lights up. Even when you open this flap here, you see it lights up. Very nice. Really nice and bright. Really easy to see in the dark. Much better than the previous Denon remote, which sucked completely. Okay. One thing I didn't like, I don't like about this receiver. Um, I don't like that the menus, on screen menus, are not in high definition. Another thing I don't like, um, I don't know if you can tell, but if you see, if you notice this, um, when you when you open down the door, uh, this particular backing here, which I think is a piece of a very thin piece of aluminum, is based.